morning everyone. It's Tammy and Ron from Winky World Adventures. And we are traveling down Interstate 75 here. Ron's concentrating on the driving because there's a lot of semis passing us right now. So I'm gonna be doing most of the talking right now, but we are heading toward our next campground. The last two nights, we got to camp at this beautiful, beautiful campground up in kind of the mountains, just as you cross over into Georgia from Tennessee. It was called Cloudland Canyon State Park. So I will be doing a review on that. I'm gonna do reviews on all of the campgrounds that we're staying at, a little bit more in depth. So those will be coming out after we're done with this little trip here and get down to Florida. So I have a little more time to put those together. But I will say a little bit about the campground. We really enjoyed it. Um, the only thing is, I will say, <laughs> if you are afraid of heights at all, like moi, me, uh, it's a little hairy driving up and down. There are two different ways to kind of get up uh, and down, and there are some really tight hairpin curves, especially on the way up there from, I think it's Trenton, and if not, I'll put it in the description. <laughs> No guardrails on the way up there on the road that we took and also I mean it's a long way down of course me looking over the edge with the 30 foot trailer behind us all I can think of is oh my gosh if we get on loose gravel or something we're done for <laughs> so, it was a little scary I had to shut my eyes for a lot of it didn't I Ron? No you just kind of looked down. I was just like praying I said my prayers on the way down today wasn't quite as bad, but there were a lot of, we went a different way, highway uh, over to Atlanta. I think it was 139, something like that. If I'm wrong, I'll put it down 136. here. 136. Uh, which wasn't quite as bad, but it is a little tricky. So if you have a really big rig, I don't know. I mean, unless you love driving on <laughs> mountain roads and you're really good at it. Uh, you might want to think twice, especially if you're afraid of heights, because it was a little, a little hairy. Well, there was some, uh, fifth wheelers up there, so. Yeah, they a, made it. A big bus. They must have took it different way. So, I don't know. Um, if you get a really good experience driving a long trail like that, then you'd be okay. Yeah. If you're used to it, it's probably right. no big deal. But, you know. We're, we don't drive like that every day. Minnesota, we don't have those kind of mountains. So anyway, now we're heading down the, the interstate and we're excited to get to the next campground. But I will say that the Cloudland Canyon State Park, just beautiful. They have some beautiful views of the canyon. We wished we would have hit it where the leaves were changing a little bit more. You know, it's so dry right now. They even had fire warnings out yesterday here in Georgia. So we heard from others that the waterfall hiked down into the canyon. Uh, the waterfalls are pretty much dried up at this point. So we didn't take that hike down. And I think it was like 600 steps to get down there. And I didn't want to risk it right now. Um, you know, if I fell or anything, that would not be good. So we didn't try that one. We did take just uh, a short hike just to kind of see the canyon itself and, and uh, so but I'll put a couple clips here so you can kind of see what that looked like it was just beautiful uh, but like I said it would have been maybe another week or two with the leaves changing would have been even better so I think if you want to see the fall colors mid-October would probably be the best time or just heading to late October Anyway, so that was interesting and fun. Uh, the sites themselves were nice. However, ours, was, they were really nice because they were updated recently and had water and electric at every site. Some had sewer, ours didn't. Uh, they had a few with sewer. But the, we were on the east rim of the canyon. We also have a west rim. The West Rim has several mini sites actually that are a lot more secluded and shaded. We kind of wish we had gone over there just because on the East Rim, they're very close together, uh, extremely close together. <laughs> but they're new. I mean, everything's like really nice. The fire rings and everything, the shower buildings. It's just, you know, we're the kind of people, we like it a 
a little more secluded than that. So it depends on what kind of camping you like. So, but it was still a nice experience. I think Snuggles prefers wooded sites. We didn't have any trees. We did a few off to the side, but he likes like woods, you know? So I think tonight where we're going, it's probably going to be a little bit nicer, a little more secluded, so we're looking forward to that. But we can't believe that there's only a couple days left of this trip. It has gone by so fast. It's just amazing. We just stopped and had got a Starbucks, and I'm still kind of waking up here, but uh, Ron's gift card again. <laughs> we're still using that up. It's just amazing that we'll be in Florida day after tomorrow so look forward to that we'll be revealing where we're going to be staying down there and what that is all about our home base as we call it so that's coming up soon but it has gone fast in retrospect I almost wish we would have taken another week just to, I mean we've been taking our time obviously but some of these places are so much to see it's really hard to take it all in, in a, you know, in a day or two days. Um, it would be nice to be able to stay in each place at least like three days, you know, especially getting up and going, moving again. It's, it's work, a little bit of work. So being able to just stay put a little bit more, I think would be a little bit more relaxing. So if we do this, when we do this, we will be doing it again. Yeah, we'll definitely space out the trip, I mean, the, the turnovers. So we are in a campground a little bit longer and can really explore. I mean, there were things in Springfield we would have liked to have seen more of things all along. Nashville, definitely. You know, it's hard to see much of Nashville in a short amount of time. So, but it's gone so fast, but it's been wonderful. We've had so much fun. So we've got two more days and then we'll we'll be there, be in Florida and in our new home base. So stay tuned for that. But thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. It's very sunny here, very nice. It's like 77 out right now. Beautiful day with the leaves changing, starting to a little bit more. It's amazing the beautiful scenery we have seen on this trip. When I haven't had my head down. <laughs> when I haven't been hiding <laughs> because of the roads. But no, now we're on the freeway. Everything's good. Okay. Well, take care. And we will talk soon. God bless.